Hi, my name is Ram, and welcome to the series where we're going to build real-world application using Vue.js and Express. This series and this application that we're going to build will cover most of the tasks that day-to-day -day developer encounters during their career. We'll have complex data structures, we'll have authorization and authentication, we'll have communicating with third-party APIs, etc, etc, etc. So, what are we going to build? Let me show you. So, we're going to build Board Games Tracker application. That's how geek I am. So the sole purpose of this app is to track users' game collection and game sessions. I've already built it some time ago, maybe a couple of years ago, but now the time has come to build a better version of it. Here you can see the essential features of the application. We can add games to the collection with options for tracking game collection, like what kind of scoring this game has and does user want to track time or not. For each game, user can add game session and create players and locations in the process, and track game scores and calculate different stats for each game. These are just basic must-have features, and we can expand upon them with time. This app you're seeing right now is built with React and Semantic UI CSS. The stack we're going to use will be quite different. So this is my favorite stack as of early 2019. On the client, we're going to use Vue.js, with Vuex, Vue Router, and also we will normalize our state, and you will see during the series how cool is that to have normalized state. So we're gonna use normalizer library for that. On the server side, we're also gonna use JavaScript because we are JS full stackers after all. So we're gonna use ExpressJS but with a twist. Most of the tutorials out there when using JavaScript, they use MongoDB as the standard. I like my data to be normalized, so that's why I'm going to use SQL database in this series, and that's going to be PostgreSQL. We're going to use Kinex library and Objection ORM library for this, and that's going to be much fun. So one important disclaimer though, this series is not teaching one. It's not a tutorial, it's not a textbook, it's not a course. It's more like the edited developer's journal. The purpose of this series is just to show you how the actual real world full-stack JavaScript application is being built, with all the mistakes, with all the decisions, the trade-offs along the way. And the most importantly, to show you how dirty this process is. So I hope you're excited to start this journey with me, and without further ado, let's get started in the next episode.